Google Photos reminded me of what my wushu looked like a year ago today. My response when I see this is usually a mix of disgust at my old wushu, but also a sense of like, hey, at least I'm not as bad as I used to be. There are two reasons that I wanted to make this video. The first is that if I don't constantly compare myself to how bad I used to be, my brain falls into this pattern of forgetting that I've ever improved at all. Improving at wushu is probably impossible. I'm gonna suck until the end of time, which is not true. I might never be as good as I am in my wushu dreams, but I have improved and improvement is always possible. The other reason I wanted to make this video is that in some tiny way, I wanted to help anyone watching improve their discernment of wushu quality. Being able to see tiny differences in wushu is really a gift. It helps you improve your own training, you can help improve other people's training, and you can more deeply appreciate when you see something genuinely good. For example, I do 10 stretch kicks. My coach says, okay, number four and number six were the right rhythm. The rest were too slow. The last few you caved your chest forward, etc., etc." This discernment helps me know which kick amongst the others to replicate, which was better. And this is so valuable if you want every move to be the best that it can be. I remember when I did this combo a year ago, I looked at it, I couldn't see anything noticeably wrong, um, and went ahead and posted it on Douyin. Now, when I look at it, I see so many things that drive me crazy. Uh, a big one is the lack of control in my head and neck. They kind of just flop around. Another is lack of real direction in any of my arm movements. It's just not very intentional. Especially with my punches, you can, set, you can see I'm lifting my wrists into the punch rather than waiting until the last moment to turn, which is a bad habit that I've only recently become aware of and have been trying to fix. Anyway, nowadays those issues are a bit better. I'm not nearly as floppy in my head and neck as I used to be. Also, I've been trying to imitate my coach's rhythm for this combo. I like where it's going, but for some reason lose power in my kick. Like, I know I can hit my kick so much stronger than that. But when I do it at this rhythm, it keeps being a little bit too soft. A friend, Wesley, thanks Wesley, was helping me with this. He is also able to turn his head away from the kick, which makes it look a lot more dramatic, though I kind of lose balance when I try to do that. Anyway, I couldn't make this video without bringing up the downside of becoming more discerning of wushu. The conundrum is this, as you train more and better understand some ideals of how your wushu could look, your discernment, your taste, your understanding of quality increases so much faster than your actual skill level, and that leads to this giant gap of how good you know your skills aren't. Which feels pretty terrible, and leads to the problem that I mentioned at the beginning of this video, which is that I so easily forget that my wushu has ever improved, I think that it will be bad forever, and that is because I can see every day a little bit more how good that I'm not. Anyway, a message for anyone else out there whose taste exceeds their ability, don't give up. When you get discouraged, compare yourself to the athlete that you used to be and see how far you've come. It's going to take a while to capture that special something in your wushu, but anyone who's ever accomplished anything great in wushu knows that it takes a lot of time, and you just gotta keep fighting. Jayo.